Welcome back to the Anti-Man channel. We are back with another online game commentary. Since the new Madden 18 came out last August, I've been in the lab trying to build my defense and offense. I only play online head-to-head, -head, so I spent the first three months getting my custom playbooks right. So we come out first possession of the game. My opponent runs it straight up the middle. And, you know, it's my first game. I'm just trying to make sure I can not give up a touchdown. And wouldn't you know it, the very the second play of the game, dude gets outside on the HB zone week and takes it 72 yards for a touchdown. So already I'm behind the eight ball. And plus, I didn't even get to look at his offense. That's one thing I don't really like about, you know, at the beginning of a game when you come out and you let somebody score on you really quickly, you really just don't get a chance to see what plays they like to run. And so you're kind of behind the eight ball when you're you're thinking about, well, you know, what are we going to stop for next possession? But we ended up getting the ball. And right here, we got nothing. You know, three plays in a row, we got nothing. I decided to be conservative on third down and one and go for the, the um, draw up the middle. And he basically just shut that down. So I punted it away just to be safe. Um, again, first game. I noticed one thing playing online that's different offline is that, you know, the um, what is it? It's just lags, you know, it's a, a huge lag when you're you know, pressing the buttons and trying to set up your plays. So that's something I have to get used to. Um, I mean, I had it a couple years ago on Madden 25 when I used to play that. I had a terrible Internet connection and, you know, it was really slow setting up. But this year it seems like it went backwards in um, connectivity or whatever. But third and four, we got him here. We almost jumped this, you know, to get the game. It could have been 7-7 right there. So he got away with one. He gives the ball back to me. And we decided to take over here from the 23. Now, basically, uh, what I noticed about this guy is he was running a lot of man blitzes uh, later in the game. And I was able to get my flow here. On this second drive, we ended up hitting a little deep out. We hit this out slot out on the left side for a huge gain up the sideline. And so now we started feeling ourselves a little bit and thinking, okay, we can, we can score right here. He tries to bring pressure. I go to the corner of the end zone, and this play right here, which should have been a touchdown, I ended up looking at the replay, ends up getting called back, but he literally had two feet in. I had to basically just, you know, settle for three points here. But anyway, I got to get on the board. My opponent comes back. We crack him on the run game, and he tended to, you know, run the ball a lot, actually. But right here, that was a crucial third and seven where we gave up a huge throw up the seam. He comes back, hits me over the middle. I was almost there for the pick. Gets down to the goal line and basically just waltz in with the goal line run right there. So now we're down 14-3 uh, with 39 seconds left. He misses the field goal right here, so maybe that'll come back to haunt him. But 39 seconds left, that's not a whole lot of time to, make sh <laughs> to uh, get down the field and get seven or even get three. But we try to you know look up field we don't see anything he ends up leaving the middle completely open i end up getting a lot of yards on that scramble right there i got two timeouts left and end up not seeing anybody there i have to scramble again but he just trips me up and i have to waste another one so right here i'm at the 45 one timeout not really the situation i want to be in but i'm able to hit the running back on a little out 13 seconds left here i get a free play thinking i can go deep but he ends up getting the sack right here so that um, still puts me at the 35 and again this was crucial right here he came he comes with a man blitz basically shutting it down and keeping me from getting that field goal or any points before the half and so we don't end up getting any points before the half but we do get the ball um, to start the second half and again we can't get it going against this guy because he starts to bring this man blitz um, DB fire press I think out of the dime 146 and we keep running these man beaters and they my for whatever reason my uh, wide receivers just could not get open they just couldn't get separation I ended up having to go three and out putting the ball away so the offense we've got no touchdowns we're coming into the third quarter he's got the ball we have no touchdowns we didn't get a score before half he's gashing our run game right here look he's running the ball and on this particular drive he decided to just you know lean on the run a little bit and he just starts pounding it pounding it up the middle pounding it up the middle and right now we don't have any answer and a lot of his runs were out of the uh, single back jumbo tries to come with a play action here we do a good job of containing it but you know we just didn't have the uh, necessary we didn't get the stops basically right here and so right here he tries to uh he looks over the middle i give an easy possession here when we go up against his trips right it was too easy he just ends up moving the ball on me he comes down to the goal line and right here we get a saving play by my db ends up trying to throw this little curl route 
right to my guy and he ends up just picking it going back to the house which ends up putting us in a pretty decent position because look we get 13 10 we're right back in the game so we come out we kick the ball off and then it goes bad because i couldn't switch on to my guy trying to switch on to look the running the who is that i don't even know who that is couldn't even tackle the dude he and we end up giving up points right back to him right back in the same situation that's a little disheartening when we're thinking oh wow we're gonna be back in this game and we end up just giving right back to where we were 10 10 down and again i'm trying to figure out how to how to move the ball against this man blitz press and I just, I'm not um, converting on some of these plays. So I try to go over the middle, I drop back. We finally call a play that gets a little open. We get the first down on third and four. But we, what I started to realize late in this game is that I just don't have the plays to beat man press. So that's something I'm going to focus on in the next few videos and uh, figure out some of these man blitz beaters. We try to go deep middle there. Guy was wide open, just overthrew him. Third and 18. We're looking, we're looking, and right here we end up just forcing it because I felt the pressure off the left side. And I know I should have thrown the pass, but you know, you, when you feel that pressure sometimes, it just puts you in a bad situation. He comes straight back, gets all the way down to the goal line, runs play action, rolls out, and for some whatever reason, uh, I think my defender who was guarding that uh, wide receiver got bumped in the end zone, leaves him wide open. This is our last hope. I mean, we're not even going to win this game. 22 seconds left in the game. It's our last drive, but we just want to get some points on the board and try to get some film and see, you know, what, what we're doing wrong, see if we can move the ball against this guy. And we end up, you know, moving the ball here. I don't like what I see here. Step through the pocket, step up, hit the uh, receiver over the middle, little juke move and get in. And, you know, one last ditch effort to potentially get this game. We do the onside kick. We don't get it. He ends up kneeling it out, and that ends up being our first loss uh, online first game online first loss but you know learn a lot actually that's one thing when you when you play online you got to learn a lot um, and you just got to go back and look at the film and see what you got to improve on so we definitely need to improve on in this particular game is the run game and basically the um, how to beat man bliss we just struggled against that mightily so look uh, look forward to the next videos we're gonna be talking about how to beat the man blitz some of this run defense because i know a lot of uh, this year a lot of people are running like single back jumbo and 12 personnel like deuce close and wing stack a lot of a lot of 12 personnel defense that people are running this year so stay tuned for that video until next time the anti-man is out peace